We're here on the media day at Top Tier Boxing Headquarters, ahead of the Momentum Show on the 17th of June from the Brentwood Centre in Essex. And I am joined by the main man, the promoter, Mr Johnny Clark. The media day's gone well today. Yeah, it's been a long day, but uh, it's gone well. Everything, everyone was on time as well, which really helped. Some were early. Um, one or two didn't turn up, but we'll talk to them later. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's been a perfect day, to be fair. Everything's fell into place and I'm happy with how it's gone. Yeah, and we did a few head-to-heads. Mm. And it's just getting the us and the boxers excited for the show. They've got about nine weeks to go. Yeah, but I thought they was quite polite. Mm. I, I expected, luckily we had Abdul, we had security, but I expected it to be uh, a bit more rah. Mm. But... No, they, they was polite and respect to them, you know, because it weren't no trouble. But yeah, they, they were very polite, but I'm sure they're going to train you like madmen anyway. Yeah, and so now, obviously, we had the statement. We mm. had the tournament. That show was a great success. Lots of 50-50 fights. It was a fantastic night. Mm. Presumably, you've had nothing but positive feedback from that show. Yeah, it hasn't stopped. I'll be honest, at the start, my phone was a bit quiet. And I thought, oh, no, did, I, did it really get out there as much as I thought it was? And then within three days, I think everyone must have been hung over <laughs> for the weekend. My phone just has not, it's still going there. It's still going there. Everywhere I go, every event I go, promoters, managers, staff that even work there, they're, they're, they're all beginning to show up. And uh, the word I heard, they said it was a powerful show. And I thought, yeah, I, I like that. And now we move to the momentum, keeping the momentum going mm -hmm. at that level. And there's some great fights on this card. Your first title fight. Oh, buzzing for that. Really happy and thank you to Lee for helping making that. Um, Ryan put a lot on the line to come on my show. Listen, it was my first time I'd done promotion. Um, the first promotion, he didn't know me. He doesn't know Lee. He doesn't, he doesn't know anything uh, about me. So for him to take a risk, come and put a lot on the line, to fight two fights in one night, He's a little bit older, as he keeps saying. <laughs> um, but he come on and he got his rewards by winning. He won the purse of 6K um, and now he's got a title fight. You know, three fights, he probably changed his boxing memories for life because even if he retired after winning this, losing this, he'd probably have a better memory of boxing. So, yeah, I'm happy that he give it, give his, um, give it to me to help him. And I hope I have. Yeah, so there's that super welterweight Southern Area title on the line in the main event. And the tournament was super welterweight division. There's a lot of super welterweights on this show as well. And they are wanting to all step up. They want to get the win and they were looking for that title in the main event. So they're all going to have their eyes on it mm. and it's going to just produce more fights in the future. Yeah, it's crazy because they're all sitting there. They was doing interviews with you and I thought, is anyone going to mention Sam Gilly? <laughs> but no one mentioned him. It's only me that said it. <laughs> um, but they probably don't for a reason, to be fair. But that's their, their stepping stone, isn't it? You know, like they come through my show, they fight in a tournament, win, lose or draw, put on a good show, sell your tickets, train well, you can be on the next show. They'll come on the next show, putting their winning records on the line. One's got a title fight. The next step up from Southern Area will be the English, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're, they're all heading that way. And I'm happy, happy to help them on their way. And credit to the fighters, there's a lot of 50-50 fights on the card. Especially credit to two of the fighters in that tournament, Angelo Antonio and Kevin Raval. Mm. Both come off the defeat to Ryan Maycock, but they've gone straight back in in a 50 50 fight and they're on this show. Yeah, what did Ryan say? They're feeding off his scraps, but <laughs> he's cheeky. <isn't> he? <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, I, I like the fight. I, I would have preferred the semi final to be that fight, and some say the final should have been that fight, but Ryan stopped that. He ruined it for them, and they're getting another go. The way they acted in defeat, uh, the way they trained, um, the way they sold their tickets, the way they spoke to me after the fight, that's why they're back on. You know, it's, it's a business, but obviously I'm a people's person. You show me respect, then you get it back. I'll give you opportunities. And it's quite... Angelo done all right because he got a win on the night, but Kevin didn't. Um, but for their records, they both really do need a win. And like we said, out of him, Lorenzo or Thomas, the next fight could be for that southern area, so... Yeah, you mentioned there, Thomas and Lorenzo, fighting mm. co-main event. They've said they think it'll be fight of the night. Do you think, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Listen, all the 50-50s, there's a good chance any of them could be. Um, but I've seen Thomas. I like his style. I see Lorenzo fight on the Wasserman show. Um, his fight got cut short because um, the ring, the top top of the rope, it just pinged off. <laughs> so he's meant to fight six rounds and he fought four. So we had to up this fight to eight rounds rather than six just to help him in his uh, stepping stone to where he wants to be. Um, 
But I liked he, him. He he took a while to get started, but when he did, yeah, I was very impressed. And he comes sat beside me afterwards, explained uh, how he likes to fight. And I said, listen, I like you. And the Thomas fight's really good. Now he thought that we can release it. So we released it. And he got a lot of love. A lot of love. People was inboxing me. That's a very good fight, John. I was like, okay, let's run it then. Do you think that the boxing world are starting to realise that top tier are doing fighter first, they're wanting to put the show first and they're wanting to change small hall boxing. It's, it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think um, I've got a big hall mentality, but I'm in small hall. So I think what I'll bring to the game is something different and I can't come in like the others because what, what would I achieve? I, I wouldn't, I'd just be like one of them in their pond. So I wanted to come a bit more bigger, elaborate, and I couldn't do that without the sponsors that you see behind us. If they didn't put into the show, the last show, I'd have lost money. But I didn't lose money because of what they'd done. They backed me, and every single one of them stayed on for the next one, and I gained a couple more. So with that, what we can build on the brand is, you know, hopefully September, English title. December, British title. If we keep building the pots, I'm not taking the money out of it yet. Um, we're building the brand. And the brand is to be one day at Copper Box, O2, you know, I sit down in other people's shows and I have them thoughts and dreams and this is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything into it. The goals are to move it from small hall into those big hall, big stadium, big arena fights. Yeah, so we're going to go on a tour. I'd love to go Wales, you know. <laughs> <laughs> go near Cardiff. Um, but yeah, listen, we want to build it, go on tour, plot up in different um, areas. Love to go Kent, massive uh, following in Kent for with Let's Go Fighters, uh, managers have approached me as well and told me they can get me venues. So that's what the show's done. It's built, it's built its brand where people are chucking ideas at me and chucking me offers. But running sales companies and many other companies realise you just got to take your time. Don't rush. Don't get too excited. Make the right decision because the reason I got to where I am in business and promotion was making right decisions. You know, so if I stick to my guns and stick to what I believe in, and not get too excited and not like I don't get excited by someone saying oh money um opportunities like I don't get excited by that because I like to do it myself anyway and build it but if I stick to what I believe in I do believe that top tier will be a standout brand keep that momentum going that's the one made a statement build momentum the next one we'll think of <laughs> <laughs> well looking forward to it we've got nine weeks to go mm -hmm. so the excitement is building yep. but it's going to be a good one can't wait absolutely buzzing for it and just a reminder, that is June the 17th from the Brentwood Centre in Essex. <laughs>